because I like to make art, and I was a competitive dancer for three years. Well, I was a competitive dancer, right? So I must have been living the healthiest lifestyle. Well, that's what I thought for a very long time. Today I'm going to share with you why and how I changed my lifestyle to a much healthier one. So the story starts, um, it was the first day of grade 9. My gym teacher was explaining the outline of the gym class. Every morning, we were to run for 10 minutes and do push-ups between 2 minutes. Now I thought, this is going to be easy. I was a dancer after all. So the next day, me and 50 other girls lined up at the starting track. And after 2 minutes, I felt more tired than I have ever been in my life. My legs felt like cooked noodles, and my lungs, they felt like they were fighting for air. So after the run, I went to my gym teacher and I asked her, How do I run further without making it hurt so much? She looked at me and she said, A new car will only break if it runs on bad fuel. Now, I didn't know what she meant, so I asked her and she said, My body was the car and the food I consumed was fuel. The problem was, I was a dancer, yes, I was exercising, but I had poor nutrition. I remember two years ago, I would finish dance class, and on the way home, I would stop by McDonald's. I would order a poutine with the occasional pop. And with every greasy bite, I said to myself, I deserve this, I exercise. I'll just burn it off next week. But what I didn't know was I began falling behind in dance class because I let the sugars and fats build up inside my body. I had relied all of my health on two hours of dance per week. This year, for my final gym exam, I received a purple folder. In the purple folder, we were instructed to record the results of two fitness tests. Between them, for two weeks and two months, we were to record everything we ate, including everything we ate, as well as daily exercises and weight training. Now, for the first fitness test, I wasn't proud of my results. I wasn't. I was only able to run 800 meters in 10 minutes, and I wasn't able. Of, I wasn't capable of doing a full body push-up. I was determined to change my eating habits because I was a dancer. So I promised myself, on the second fitness test, I would be able to run one kilometer in 10 minutes and be able to do five full body push-ups. So I did research on my own and I learned about food portions and micronutrients in order to gain muscle and improve stamina. I controlled my consumption of unhealthy foods and, and I had them in, and I had them in moderation. I recorded each item in my folder to match my goals, and after the first week, I had, I had built new habits such as drinking 12 cups of water every day. After seeing my diet throughout the week, it changed my vision completely. It challenged me to think how food affected me in the future, and showed me how powerful it is to eat right. My nutrition and physical training had led me to surpass my goals. After two months and two weeks, I was able to run 1.2 kilometers in 10 minutes, as well as do 12 full body push-ups. So, I completed my gym course. But what was the next step? Because of my experience in gym class, I was able to, um, I was able to build habits. I learned, that, I learned that making healthy choices and living a healthy lifestyle were two complete different things. A healthy lifestyle is consistent healthy choices. I want, so what I'm trying to tell you here is that in order to live a healthy lifestyle, you must practice consistency. You must know what works for you. And I promise, when you know how to keep things consistent, you will see true change, like I did. Um, right now, I'm not a dancer, but uh, I still train like one because I changed my diet. Only you can change your life when you change your diet. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Okay, so once again, that was Vivian. Vivian Zane, topic on healthy lifestyle. One of the most uh, famous sayings that I, that I always like to say is, diets can wait till tomorrow. And I'm sure all of you agree too, right? And like Vivian said, 